Hello gamers, hope you all doing well. As you guys might remember, in one of my previous video, I briefly discussed about how to use MSI Afterburner, and how to set up a basic benchmark. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily set up a more advanced and cool looking on-screen display, including average FPS, maximum, minimum and 1% low graphs. I've seen so many videos regarding MSI Afterburner, but most of them are quite long, and hard to understand. But I'm gonna show you how you can set up this awesome looking on-screen display in few minutes. By the way, if you haven't watched my previous video regarding MSI Afterburner, I highly recommend you to watch it first. So, without further ado let's get right into the video. Okay, let's go. Step 1, open up MSI Afterburner and go to Monitoring tab. Now select which items you want to monitor in on-screen display. Follow the steps. Step 2, adjust the order according to your preference. You can swap items up and down. I like to set GPU related stuff first, then CPU related, then finally FPS related items. Step 3, now you can rename items according to your PC specs. For an example, I can rename GPU as GTX 960. Follow my steps carefully. Now do this for other items as well. This will make your on-screen display more clear and easy to monitor. And remember don't use the same name twice. Next step is to set up a hotkeys to toggle on screen display and turn on and off benchmark. You can use any key you prefer. Remember, whenever you need to monitor the maximum, minimum and average FPS and graphs, you have to start a benchmark using the hotkey.
Now we can set spaces between item groups. Follow my steps carefully. Now everything is a lot more clear. Now we need to add graphs. In here, I'm adding graphs for average FPS, 1% low and 0.1% low. Follow my steps carefully. Now the graphs are added, but we need to adjust the sizes. Now the graphs are aligned with the text. Okay, now it's all about customization. You can change font colors as you wish. You don't have to copy everything, just adjust according to your preference. Okay, after you mess around with the setting, let's change the font type and make few more changes in Riva Tuner. You can add a dark background to your text like this. You can change the font type and size according to your preference. Nice. Now you have an awesome looking on screen display. Well, that's it guys. I hope you guys like this cool looking on screen display, but once you get the hang of it, you can spend hours of customizing MSI Afterburner. If you learned something, make sure to drop a like and share this with your friends as well. If you have any issues, make sure to drop a comment below. As always, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. I see you guys soon. Stay safe.